name is Milka Kupanova. I am the Vice Chair of the Kennedy Brain House Award um, and I'm an Assistant Professor at UMass Chan. Uh, today with me I have the winner of the Kennedy Brain House Award, uh, Dr. Frederick de Norm. Um, and um, I would like to start with uh, him telling us a little bit about where he comes from. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kupanova. Uh, so I'm Frederick de Norma. I'm originally from Belgium where I did my PhD and I landed in the uh, University of Utah about four years ago where I did uh, a postdoc with Dr. Uh, Robert Campbell and Dr. Paul Bray. Uh, I actually uh, got an AHA postdoctoral fellowship a couple of years ago which got me to study uh, the role of platelets in stroke. Okay, so now that brings us to the next question is how did you get to um, get interested in this particular project that you got an award for? Actually in our lab um, we a couple of years ago discovered this variant in the PAR4 gene uh, that causes hyperreactivity of platelets in response to uh, thrombin and PAR4 activating peptide. Uh, and the interesting thing about this variant is that it's highly prevalent in black individuals who are also at a higher risk for uh, ischemic stroke. And so we wanted to study what is the impact of this variant on stroke outcomes. And we did this in both humans and, my, and mice. And both actually in human and mouse studies, we found that this uh, variant in PAR4 indeed increases the risk for you having a stroke and also uh, increases the chances of having bad outcomes after stroke. And more importantly, this variant also had a pharmacogenetic effect in that common drugs that are given to stroke patients <coughs> on, <coughs> on a daily basis in the stroke clinic, uh, they work in the mice that have the normal PAR4 variant, but in this hyperreactive PAR4 variant, these uh, antiplatelet agents actually don't work. And when we try to link these mice findings, because this was all done in mice, these drugs, to the clinic, we actually noticed that a lot of the clinical trials for these antiplatelet agents in stroke were predominantly done on white individuals. And so these clinical trials are actually not set up to uh, investigate the effects of those drugs on uh, black individuals who have a high prevalence of this variant that probably does not respond to the antiplatelet drugs. So if you want to just briefly tell us the modeling that you did and what was the outcome and yeah. perhaps what's the future? For the stroke patient study, we used the REGARDS consortium, which was a big study uh, designed to look at racial disparities and regional disparities in stroke. And so with that study, we were able to recruit about seven, uh, we look at data from 7,600 uh, black individuals who were followed up over time for over a decade. And of those, almost 600 uh, actually had a stroke. And then we could do a multivariate uh, analysis to look at the risk for ischemic stroke and also for a uh, look at uh, stroke outcomes, how they were doing. And then the mouse stuff, we used a murine model of transient middle cerebral artery occlusion, where you basically induce a stroke in the mice. And then 24 hours later, we look at how are the mice behaving, uh, how are the platelets behaving, and uh, how are these drugs actually uh, working. Uh, we did try some novel uh, therapeutic approaches in these mice as well that actually did work also with the hyperreactive variant. So I believe that is the future, directly targeting PAR4 with a drug that is currently in clinical trials, or you can also target plate leukocyte interactions with a P-selectin antibody that is FDA approved for sickle cell disease patients. So we hope that in the future, these preclinical findings can be translated uh, to the stroke clinic. And this particular variant that you discovered in that particular population that had ischemic stroke was upregulated or it uh, just popped out? So this variant, uh, we found it, uh, actually Dr. Paul Bray 10 years ago discovered it. He was just looking at genetic regulations of uh, responses to PAR4 activating peptide. And then he discovered that uh, people from an African ancestry had a higher prevalence of this uh, variant and then we know that uh, black individuals are at a much higher risk for uh, developing ischemic stroke. So that's why we thought maybe we should uh, try to look into that. Uh, and we were fortunate to have uh, access to our collaborators with the Regards Consortium because also there it is important to 
include a diverse uh, clinical cohort to look at this variant. So thank you very much for joining me today and, and speaking with us about your wonderful work. Um, this is the uh, awardee for the Kenneth Brainhouse Award that is meant to award young scientists uh, at the beginning of their uh, career that have done uh, spectacular things and that will move the uh, field forward. Um, and that is the field of thrombosis. And um, thank you so much for uh, being here with us. Thank you for having me.